Hey everybody, Bearded Rogue here, um, and uh, for today's vlogist and tomorrow's vlogist, actually, we're going to do kind of a two-part series. Um, I'm going to release this one tonight, and then we'll do another one tomorrow with the uh, the aftermath, if you will. Um, but uh, in this two-part series, I want to talk about one of my signature, uh, or something that's become a signature of mine, other than my beard, and that's my purple hair. Um, so, the Purple Hair's origins, uh, started with the, um, <laughs> election night, um, and the, el the election of, uh, our current, uh, president, whose name I will not mention, um, and, uh, I needed something to cheer me up very, very badly. Um, I, uh, wasn't sure exactly what I was gonna do, to make myself feel happier. Um, I'd always wanted to dye my hair. Um, I never had prior to this. Um, I'd never used any kind of dye of any kind uh, prior to the initial purpling of my hair. Um, and um, so it was a um, an interesting experience uh, trying to figure out exactly what to do. Luckily, uh, I had some help uh, from my amazing wife who, um, while she hasn't done a lot of dyeing of her own hair, has a very good eye for products that will work. Um, I happen to have a benefit that um, a lot of people who go to dye their hair don't. Um, even though I am a brunette normally, as you can see from my beard and from my roots, um, a lot of my hair is gray at this point. And um, my gray hair happens to be drier and happens to absorb dye like a sponge. Um, so a lot of the vibrant color that I have, uh, I can't promise that you will have um, if you uh, have um, brunette hair or uh, if you do not bleach your hair, but I do not bleach my hair. I have never uh, bleached my hair or, or used peroxide on my hair whatsoever. Um, and uh, I plan on keeping it that way um, whenever I go in for my trims once a quarter, once every six months, because I don't cut my long hair very often, just get split ends trimmed off. Um, the barbers who've worked on my hair have said that it's really healthy and I don't have any problems, um, so that's good news. Um, so uh, why hair dye? Why that? Well, one of the things, uh, one of the biggest things for me um, in this hobby of board gaming when I first started getting into it were the very colorful personalities that I met. Um, and in particular, several women um, who uh, really inspired me um, because they were out there even with all of the nonsense that they have to put up with. Um, they were doing their thing, being awesome, producing amazing content, um, just being cool people, and uh, they were actually willing to talk to me. Um, and, uh, you know, people in this hobby have been so friendly, and um, my past experience with other uh, organizations and other groups, um, I was not welcomed quite as much uh, as I have been into this hobby. Um, but all of them had dye in their hair of some kind, um, whether they were like uh, Brittany or Maggie, who had full uh, heads of dyed hair, um, at the time that I met them, and, um, Maggie still does pretty much to this day, um, or, uh, Stephanie Straw, who eventually went full-on, uh, unicorn, uh, with her hair, um, Tiffany, uh, Kyrez, uh, has, a very prominent streak of color in her hair most of the time, um, and, uh, I kind of wanted something like that. Like, it makes me happy. Um, tattoos make me happy. Piercings make me happy. Decorations make me happy. And so I wanted something like that for me. Um, because it was something that I admired in other people. It kind of is a fearlessness. Like, you know, yeah, I have purple hair. I'm not worried about, you know, my place in the world. I'm not worried about whether or not I'm going to get hired. I'm going to do my thing, and I'm going to be so good at it that I can have purple hair, and it's not going to be a detriment to me or anybody I care about. Um, and I really needed something to cheer me up. And so, uh, that's why purple. So we went with purple, um because it's one of my favorite colors, um, because we thought it would look good. We were trying to decide between purple and blue, uh, and we decided that purple was more unique somehow. Um, 
And purple is slightly darker and works better with my skin tone, actually. Blue, um, while it works for me, makes me look a little sick. Um, at times because of the light reflecting on my face. Purple adds a warm tone um, that kind of breaks that up. It's not nearly as cool and doesn't make me look undead. Not that blue looked bad. Um, a lot of people saw me with blue last year at Gen Con. I went blue uh, because I was working with Renegade and I thought that would be fun. Um, but purple has kind of become my thing, like my permanent signature. So I um, wanted to kind of just go over what I'm going to be doing tonight, because we're going to be re-dyeing my hair. As you can see, my roots need a serious touch-up. Uh, they're mostly gray now. Uh, my hair is growing out. You can see um, we've got a lot of fade uh, in my hair, lots of uh, blues in addition to the purples, and some of the lighter purples have started showing up. Um, and I'll talk about that in just a minute and why that is. Um, but uh, while I love it when my hair starts fading out, and I love the multicolored hues that show up, um, this right here is something that has to be dealt with um, on a regular basis, or um, eventually I won't have purple hair anymore. <laughs> so, um, when I say on a regular basis, um, it's usually um, one and a half to two months. Um, you know, maybe even more. Uh, depends. I always try to touch it up before I go to a major convention. And I always try to touch it up about two weeks in advance, and we'll talk about why um, tomorrow in tomorrow's video. But um, so about two weeks in advance from a major convention, and I typically have a convention like every quarter or so. Um, so, you know, every two months is about right. Um, one and a half to two months is about right to kind of keep it up to date. This is a lot longer than uh, I normally have. I haven't touched it up since uh, before Origins, uh, two weeks before Origins, and that's because I wasn't going to Gen Con this year. Um, <laughs> I wasn't going to a major convention, so I didn't bother touching it up. Um, you know, it still looks good, in my opinion, and I didn't really need it, but now we're, uh, we're going to go ahead and, um, and do that. So, what do I use, uh, what is my process for making my hair this color? Well, you're going to need a couple of things. Um, and again, uh, I have a lot of gray hair, so it works for me. Um, it won't necessarily work for you. There are other people who've tried to use the same products I have and have had different results. All hair dye is kind of a personal thing. Um, you have to find what works for you. Um, the hair dye that I use is not um, all natural. There's not like all sorts of promises uh, around that, so keep that in mind. If you do want something like that, you'll want to use something like Pravana, which is guaranteed to not be chemical. Um, I don't uh, do that, so um, it is what it is. Um, Again, my hair hasn't had a problem with it. Uh, everybody who's handled it says that it feels healthy and reacts healthy. Um, so, you know, your mileage may vary. But let's get into what I've got. So first thing I've got is the actual color. So I use Splat brand, um, and I specifically use Midnight Amethyst. So there's two pieces of information here. Um, Midnight is their line of hair color specifically for brunettes. Um, we decided to grab this one because I do have some brunette hair still, as you can see in my beard, um, mixed in. And you can even see a little bit in the roots. There's not as much of it as there was when I started dyeing my hair two years ago, um, but it is there. And so we wanted something that would also dye the brunette pieces without bleaching rather than, um, you know, just getting the gray and having the, um, the, uh, brunette still mixed in. Um. This does not require any kind of bleach or peroxide. I don't have to bleach my hair before putting this in. I don't have to peroxide my hair before putting this in. Um, I just put this into my hair. Um, and um, that uh, saves a lot of wear and tear, and as little as I do it, um, it has worked for me so far. Um, but Amethyst is their purple. Um, they have Indigo, which is the blue that I used when I went Renegade Blue, Midnight Indigo. And then they have Midnight Ruby, which is a dark red. Um, those are the three that they have so far. I know that they're looking at adding Midnight Emerald, which is a green. Um, and there's one other, I can't remember what it is, one other color that they're looking at adding. But those are what they have so far is Midnight Amethyst, Midnight Ruby, and Midnight Indigo. I use Midnight Amethyst. 
Um, inside, it will come with some gloves, which you will need, otherwise your hands will be purple forever. The actual applicator, and there's actually two bottles in here, one bottle that it originally comes in, and then one bottle that is the applicator bottle that is smaller. Um, what I typically end up doing is using the bigger bottle, and then the applicator bottle is just kind of where I store what's left, because I don't use this whole bottle on my hair. Um, we use about half to a third of a bottle, um, depending on how much of a touch-up I need. This is probably going to be a half of a bottle, um, and, uh, you know, we'll take it all the way down the hair. We won't, we'll concentrate on this area, but we will take it all the way down the hair, um, when we, when we do it, uh, and we'll use gloves for that because we don't want super purple hair. Um, but that's basically it. Uh, that's the dye that I use, and, um... So what we'll do is uh, tonight, before I go to bed, we will apply this liberally to my hair. Um, we'll get definitely all of this area, and we'll go all the way down to the ends of my hair. And then once it's all been dyed, I will take it all and bunch it all up on top of my head with the dye still in it. And then I will take one of these, uh, which is a disposable shower cap. Um, you can buy these in the hair care section. They are usually uh, in the section for ethnic hair. Um, they're really, really good and really cheap. Um, you usually can get them in like packages of 10. They can be reused. Um, I do not advise reusing the one that you use when you are dyeing your hair. Um, but yeah, you'll just get it all underneath this like that. And make sure that none of it's tucked in. Um, when the dye is in it, my hair has a little bit of extra weight to it, so it doesn't flop around nearly as much, but I usually bring it down all the way to over my ears so that it doesn't escape. Um, and uh, I'm going to take this off because it looks goofy, but I just wanted to show you. Um, so I'll put this on, um, and the one that I use for the dyeing of my hair, uh, I will throw away in the morning before I shower. Um, and that's right, I will leave it in overnight, all night long, um, with my hair up, so I sleep in this, uh, the night that I dye my hair. And then the next morning, I will take my shower, and I will rinse until I stop seeing color. Um, that takes a while, usually, um, on the first go. Um, after that, when you shower, um, it's not that bad. I, uh, shower regularly, but I don't always, um wash my hair. Uh, for the showers when I don't wash my hair, I use one of these, and that's when you can reuse these. Um, you can wear it, take your shower, and then, you know, you can get th two or three, sometimes even four or five showers out of it. Um, and then, of course, once a week, I do wash my actual hair. Um, and when I do that, I use this product. Um, it's really shiny. It's Ion brand. Um, and then I use the Neon Purple, which is a lighter purple than the Amethyst here, um, which is one of the ways that I end up getting multiple colors as it fades. The lighter purple here that I said I would talk about is usually from the Ion brand. So in the morning, uh, after we've dyed my hair and I've slept overnight in it, we'll wash my hair and I will use this conditioner um, that has color in it um, in order to... Uh, to condition my hair and uh, get all of the color out of it. Um, but this was something that I use, and then I use this anytime I wash my hair. Um, and you don't have to use a lot. Um, it, it A little dab will do you, as it were. But um, this really helps my color last longer um, and gives me some really interesting colors as it fades. So that's why I use this one. Um, the, uh, the Ion Pigments brand Neon Purple. Um, they have other purples that are, are closer in match to this, um, but this is kind of what I've settled on because it creates really neat, um, really neat changes uh, in my hair. Um, well, it looks like Midnight Rosetta is the other one, the pink one. So Indigo, Amethyst, Ruby, and Rosetta. So And Emerald is the green, and Rosetta is the pink. Um, anyway, so, yeah, so they've got those Midnight, uh, brands now, um, that are all no bleach, um, and that last for 30 washes, uh, supposedly. Um, I would not say that 30 washes is accurate, um, although, um, you know, I don't wash my hair as often as, uh, 
I shower, so maybe, you know, I'm, uh, maybe if I showered every time, uh, and washed my hair every time, it would be, uh, you know, 30 washes, but, um, my hair grows fast enough that it's never been 30 washes between dyes, um, so, because that would be 30 weeks, <laughs> which is, like, six months, that's not gonna happen, um, but, uh, but yeah, so that's kind of the procedure, um, is that uh, we'll put dye in my hair, I'll put my hair up overnight, and then uh, in the morning I'll wake up and take a shower, I'll use my uh, color conditioner, um, and uh, after I've gotten the initial stuff out, I'll add the color conditioner and rinse one more time just to make sure everything's out. Um, at that point, I use black towels uh, to save myself on bleach and such. I also regularly bring my black towels with me to conventions or hotels or places like that because while hotels bleach their towels, it's still kind of unnerving for them to come in and find a whole bunch of purple all over everywhere. It looks like somebody killed uh, a bunch of grapes or, you know, murdered a wine bottle and then mopped it up. Um, I'd rather uh, kind of save everybody the trouble, so I usually bring my own towels, and they are black, um, just to save on any discoloration and stuff like that that happens. Um, but yeah, that'll be the process. So um, we're going to do that tonight, and then tomorrow, after I've uh, taken my shower and my hair's dried out, we'll go ahead and look at the after results and talk a little bit more about that. Um, but uh, I'm going to let you go with that because I need to go uh, get that started and do a c other couple of errands before bed. Um, but anyway, thank you guys, and I'll see you tomorrow.